Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to add decimals. We will start with three examples where we will be adding two decimals. Then we will move on to a couple of examples involving a decimal and a whole number. So we will go through some different types of addition problems involving decimals. Let's jump into number one, where we have five and seven tenths plus three and nine tenths. Now our first step when adding decimals is to line up the decimals. So we're going to set this problem up by again, lining up the decimals. So five and seven tenths plus three and nine tenths. So you can see that those decimals are lined up and that's going to line up all of the places. So for this example, the ones place and the tenths place. Now our second step is to use placeholder zeros if necessary. Now for number one, we're not going to use any placeholder zeros. We don't need them. But for numbers two and three, we will. So we will see what those are used for in our next examples. Now we move on to step three, and that's to add. We'll start with seven plus nine, that gives us 16. So we just added the tenths place. Now after the tenths place, we need the decimal and we bring that straight down. So the decimal is lined up throughout the entire problem, even in the answer. Now we add the ones place. So one plus five is six plus three is nine. And that's our final answer, nine and six tenths. So let's write this up here. Five and seven tenths plus three and nine tenths equals nine and six tenths. Let's move on to number two, where we have 16 and five tenths plus eight and 83 hundredths. So our first step, we need to line up the decimals. So 16, and five tenths plus eight and 83 hundredths. So our decimals are lined up here, but this does look a little offset. It doesn't quite look like we are lined up. That's because 16 and five tenths goes to the tenths place and eight and 83 hundredths goes to the hundredths. Although it may not look like we are lined up, we are, the decimals, and the places are lined up. So since 16 and 5 tenths only goes to the tenths place and 8 and 83 hundredths goes to the hundredths, we can use a placeholder zero right here after the five. That way we have 16 and 50 hundredths. Now both of the decimals go to the hundredths place. This helps everything look a little more organized and lined up. It will help us when adding. Now remember, zeros to the right of decimal digits do not change the value of a number. So 16 and 50 hundredths is equivalent to 16 and 5 tenths. We're not changing the value of anything here. So we're able to do this. Now we add. So we'll start with the hundredths place. We have zero plus three, that's three. Then we have five plus eight, that's 13 bring the decimal straight down into our answer. Now we have one plus six, which is seven, plus eight is 15, and then one plus one is two. So we end up with 25 and 33 hundredths. So 16 and five tenths plus eight and 83 hundredths equals 25 and 33 hundredths. Moving on to number three, we have 24 and 297 thousandths plus seven and nine tenths. Let's line up the decimals here. So 24 and 297 thousandths plus seven and nine tenths. So now our decimals are lined up, therefore our places are lined up. And we can use placeholder zeros now that way both decimals go to the thousandths place. So we'll use two placeholder zeros after the nine. And now we're ready to add. 
We'll start with the thousandths place. Seven plus zero is seven. Nine plus zero is nine. Two plus nine is 11. And we can bring the decimal straight down. Then we have one plus four is five, plus seven is 12. One plus two is three, and we are done. We end up with 32 and 197 thousandths. Now I've been bringing the decimal down as we're working through the addition, but another option is, is add everything and then bring your decimal straight down into the answer. Either way will work, just don't forget to place that decimal in the answer. So 24 and 297 thousandths plus seven and nine tenths equals 32 and 197 thousandths. So those are our examples of adding two decimals. Let's move on to our next section. So here's our section on adding decimals and whole numbers. So we will either have a decimal plus a whole number or a whole number plus a decimal. Now, whenever we have an addition problem involving a decimal and a whole number, so either a decimal plus a whole number or a whole number plus a decimal, we use the same steps that we use when adding two decimals. We line up the decimals, use placeholder zeros, and add. Let's jump into number one, where we have 17 and 43 hundredths plus eight. So let's set this problem up by lining up the decimals. So we have 17 and 43 hundredths plus eight. Now, how do we line up the decimal for our whole number here? Eight. Well, remember, decimals come after a whole number. They come after the ones place. So the decimal is right here for eight. So we have eight and then the decimal. So our decimals are lined up now and our problem is lined up, but it does look a little offset since 17 and 43 hundredths goes to the hundredths place and eight only has a digit in the ones place. So we can use two placeholder zeros after the decimal, that way eight goes to the hundredths place as well. Now those two zeros to the right of the decimal are not changing the value of eight. That still has a value of eight. So we're able to do this. Now our problem looks more lined up. And now we can add. We will start with the hundredths place. So three plus zero gives us three. Four plus zero gives us four. Bring the decimal straight down. It's lined up throughout the entire problem. Then we have seven plus eight, that's 15. And then one plus one gives us two. So we end up with 25 and 43 hundredths. So 17 and 43 hundredths plus eight equals 25 and 43 hundredths. Now, whenever we have an addition problem involving a decimal and a whole number, the decimal digits are going to stay the same. So for example, number one, we end up with 43 hundredths. That's because eight didn't have any decimal digits. So it's just going to be, again, 43 hundredths. Basically, we're just adding the whole numbers. 17 plus eight is 25. And then again, we have 43 hundredths. So something to keep in mind whenever we are adding a decimal and a whole number. Moving on to number two, we have 126 plus 35 and 9 tenths. Let's set this problem up by lining up the decimals. The decimal goes after the whole number, after the ones place. So for 126, it goes after the six. So we have 126 decimal, and then we line up 35 and 9 tenths. So the decimals are now lined up. So let's use a placeholder zero in the tenths place for 126. Now both of our numbers go to the tenths place and we can add. 
we will start by adding the tenths place. So zero plus nine gives us nine. Bring the decimal straight down. Then we have six plus five, that's 11. Then we have one plus two is three, plus three is six, and then a one in the hundreds place. So we end up with 161 and nine tenths. So 126 plus 35 and nine tenths equals 161 and nine tenths. So there you have it. There's how to add decimals. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.